Today on the workbench, we had the NEC NT625, made in 1962 in Japan. I was told it sort of works. So let's uh, open it up and see what's going on. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. The front and the back have the same pattern. Well, that's not good. I don't hear anything. The battery connection is broken here. So I don't know about the sort of working. I like the NEC logo here. Maybe there's a way we can save this thing. But I think we gotta fix that first. Let's protect the plastic with some Captain tape. I don't wanna melt anything here. So now let's give it some power. I hear weak stations. So that's a full volume. All right, let's, uh, let's take it apart and uh, change out the caps. All right, we got it apart. Let's mark the current orientation so we can keep track of the polarity. Let's take these two out first. We got the first one. Now let's move on to the orange one. He's so tight in there, it's hard to feel him move, but I must be getting the right places. We got him. This is crazy. This is three capacitors in one, all 20 microfarad. Wow. Well, this will be interesting. Getting three leads into one hole will be a very tight fit. First one's easy. Let's move on to number two. Can't believe it, I got all three. Now let's put the 10 microfarad in. So the last two, we have a 10 and a two. Let's take out the two first and uh, 
get him in and then we'll take out the 10 and we should be done. He looks like he is right here. And probably right here. There's a lot of solder. I sometimes use flux even on the uh, wick. Really takes a lot of it away immediately. Like that. There we go, got him out. Two microfarad. I think that's safe enough. All right, one more to go. I think this one we're gonna to have to insulate a little bit. He's gonna be crossing important things that we don't want it to touch. So he's right here. And the other side's a little trickier to figure out. It's kind of buried in here. Might be here. Let's take the first guy out and then that'll help us figure out where the second guy goes. We got him. I think we already looked at this, but he's a 10 microfarad. So let's put some heat shrink tubing on this guy uh, just to protect him. Make it a little bit more like the original one was. I don't think we need it on the other side. All right, I think the caps are all in now. Let's talk a little bit about this triple cap. Electrically, it looks like this. Three separate positive leads and one shared negative. I think this was done to save space on these tight circuit boards. An interesting piece of history. All right, now let's measure these caps we pulled out. This is the 10. And it sees nothing. Super toast. Here's this bizarre triple cap. We'll put one lead on the negative, and then we'll go through the other three one by one. ESR over 40, and it can't even measure it. How about this one? Same. And the last one. All right. This is really bad. Here's the two we pulled out next. Totally toast. And finally, the 10 we pulled out last. And it doesn't see... And it doesn't see that it's even there. And this is why we replaced them after 60 years. This is an easy speaker to replace. I like to replace them because the magnet's not the same as it was in 1962 and the paper's not the same as it was in 1962. So let's put in the new modern speaker. It's like a perfect fit.
So let's clean the volume control. Looks like Mr. Black once owned this radio. I'd like to clean up the inside. If his name stays, his name stays. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we need to get it clean. I would like to get the battery connector looking a little nicer. Maybe we can get it glued back together again. I didn't want to cut this out because it has the NEC logo on it. So I think if we can just glue it, it will stay in place. There's been a little bit of gold paint lost on this. I think maybe we could just fill in some from the back. These are enamel paint markers and they're good for this kind of stuff. Well, definitely better. All right, let's let these two pieces sit for 24 hours and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. That looks pretty good. I like it. We saved the NEC logo. All right, let's put this together and do the final test. I think that's gonna work. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be making more. And if you see something I missed, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.